For today's creature feature, we begin this video in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Tonight, I'm walking through one of America's top haunted house. Actually, some consider it the best haunted house attraction in the entire country. We're talking about Field of Screams. The original one location. Four terrifying events. Four attractions. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. I'm Tampa Jay and I love me some haunted houses. And this year I'm going to walk through some of the best yet again. Very lucky to be invited out here tonight to Field of Screams. I've heard so much about this haunted attraction for so many years, specifically their haunted hayride. They have four attractions. Tonight is their opening night on Friday the 13th. Oh yeah, I just left Camp Crystal Lake over in New Jersey. Woke up there, uh, spent the night at the original Friday the 13th filming location. That was awesome. Took me about a three hour journey to come over here and here we are. All checked in at my hotel tonight in Lancaster, right outside of Field of Scrapes actually picked this up in the hotel lobby. Saw billboards all the way from New Jersey, all the way here of Field of Screams advertising this legendary park. It's been rated, ranked number one in America several times by USA Today. Also mentioned on the Oprah Winfrey Show and the Howard Stern Show. These guys, I've heard, know how to do a haunted house. And I've come to put it to the test. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I want to thank Jim, my contact at Field of Screams, for inviting us out tonight. I'm going to get there when the gates open. I'm going to show you this gigantic screen park. I saw an aerial of it. It looks freaking huge. I'm going to film a little bit inside all four attractions. I've been asked by Field of Screams not to show too much, so this won't be a traditional 100% walkthrough video. This is just... A preview of their opening night and I'm very grateful just to get inside here thanks for having me out I hope you enjoy this video there is always so much ahead and tomorrow night I will be walking through another top haunted house in America haunt season has officially began and we start with the indie haunts that's right right here in Pennsylvania and beyond thanks for joining me everyone that's the intro I appreciate it there's always much ahead and haunts on happy halloween are you guys ready let's go i'll put a link in the description below for all the finer details so you can buy your tickets and whatnot but right here on this pamphlet haunted hayride den of darkness nocturnal wasteland and the frightmare asylum and if you take a screenshot of field of screams 2024 schedule It'll last longer. Wow, they go all the way into mid-November. One last thing before we leave the cemetery. A little commercial for you. We're in my 7th Inc. Awesome t-shirt company. They gifted me this brand new design here. If you want a t-shirt from 7th Inc. Or anything at all, go to their website in the description below. Type in Tampa J. It's a discount code. You get 15% off. Thank you, 7th Inc. For making that possible for everyone. And make sure you tell them I said Happy Halloween cool stuff. I love their shirts. They're so comfy. And to get the field of screams from where I was at, you got to go through some cornfields. Reminds me of Indiana. Yes, I'm a Hoosier, but I live in Tampa. And there can be no coincidence that on this dead-end road is America's number one haunted attraction. Field of screams. Now, you can't really see much from this vantage point, but coming down this road behind here, oh my gosh. I am one hour and a half early, 1.5. They open up at seven tonight for their first night in 2024, Friday the 13th. I'm gonna figure out where to park, but you can see back here, there's like a tower and there's someone setting up like a speaker. They're getting ready to open. And I believe right here on Spring Street, this is where drop-offs are. The normal parking lot is somewhere in the back, I believe. Ooh, yeah, the gate's open right there. Tickets 50 yards, all traffic this way. Oh, wow, there it is. It's the midway. 
cool. You have to come all the way here in the back. Wow, there's stuff back here. The zombiefunrun.com. Looks like an obstacle course. Field of Screams. Corn cob acres. Do not enter that lane. Oh, get over here. Here are all their hayride wagons and tractors. Whoa. I see some international harvesters. Don't see any Fords though. This is officially the largest and nicest parking lot I have ever seen at any haunted attraction. We're still going. There's several lots back here. Here we go, straight ahead. Ready? Freaking insane. I think we're to the front. Wow, look at that. Ticket booth. That's a giant ticket booth. It's a freaking haunted house. I want to thank Field of Streams for having me. I've heard nothing but great. I can't say that enough. There's been so many people over the last few years, many years, that say you gotta go to Field of Screams. And tonight's the night. I saved it for Friday the 13th. Look at this angry farmer on this tractor here. Very ghoulish. Ooh, we got animatronics going off over here. We got sound. We got a hearse. Look at the silo. This is so cool. So walking back this way towards the ticket booth. This fence is just so cool. You got chainsaws, you got all these characters. These are all metal, by the way. Someone created these, that guy. I wonder if we'll see that guy tonight. He's got a sickle. Here you go, the ticket booth. That is a freaking awesome looking haunted house. That's not even the haunted house. That's just the ticket booth. Is that a sigh or a sickle? Some people call it a swing blade. I call it a Kaiser blade. I don't know. Dude, this is gnarly. Very nice. Very nice so far. This is like pristine. I feel like I'm at a theme park. And I was told to pick up my tickets at the info center, which is on the far side of the ticket house. This is a ticket house. It's not a ticket booth. <laughs> and check this out behind me. It says right here on this sign back here, if you already have your tickets, you go straight to the attraction. So there you go. You can buy them here. Or online and the prices range from 40 to 55 dollars depending on what you want to do again check out the website it's a very fair price for a very awesome haunted attractions we'll see we'll see I haven't done it yet so the info center is not quite open yet I am here a little early I'm walking down this awesome path here to the main entrance of field of screams I mean this is so nice you got green grass you got stone pathway You've got this cool fence over here. Look at that Den of Darkness 1995. I'm gonna be walking through Den of Darkness tonight. And then over here, you've got Frightmare Asylum. Each one of their haunted attractions are represented. They got something here called the Chainsaw Bar. I like the skelly hands for the lamps there. You see that? That's cool. They got a bar going on here and you got this giant uh, silo in the middle. Oh, that's the actual bar. That's freaking sick. And here's the freaking hearse. Look at that. America's number one haunted attraction. Check out fieldofscreams.com. Got a lot of things going on here before the main entrance. You've got that in the silo. And here you go. The main sign. I'm gonna take a couple pictures here, of course. Field of Scream. I see some spooky guys over here. Oh, we can check out the courtyard. Wow. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. I'm glad I get here in the daylight because it's cool to walk around and see everything. There is no hiding any attention to detail here in the daylight. So imagine what this place is gonna look like at night. I'm saying that, I haven't even walked inside. It's amazing looking. Speaking of amazing looking, do you have purple eyes? You've got purple eyes. I've never met anyone with purple eyes. Oh wait, this might be his twin over here. You got purple eyes as well? Oh yeah, you do. Oh, so creepy. Check these guys out. They got the chainsaws. Don't they look so real? Trail, Den, Asylum, Hayride. All four attractions right here at the sign. Over here you got the Scream Shop. That is the building with the uh, silo on the back. This is so freaking nice. Check out this midway. Wow. Looks like uh, rope drop will be right here. This is the, this is the rope they drop to begin the event. We're gonna get the kickoff here for their opening 2024 season, Friday the 13th. This is so freaking awesome. I am so stoked to be here. It's been an amazing day. Woke up at Camp Crystal Lake, the original filming location, camped overnight, and now look at this, number one haunted house attraction. Are you guys ready?
Yeah! Let it begin. Ooh. We got a little appetizer there. Oh, I think I triggered it. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you. All right, that's amazing. It's got quite a spiel. <laughs> this is so cool. Is this going to be a long story? <laughs> That's, I've never seen anything like that. It's been going a minute and a half. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Ooh, my ear just popped. I've been wanting that to happen. Airplane ride a few nights ago. Ah, 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 ah. It took a creepy laugh to get my ear popped. Oh, I feel so much better. By the way, oh, I think it's done. All right, so I've got my ticket. This will get me inside all four haunted attractions. I have a VIP pass. That's an upgrade to you guys. Thanks for uh, Phil to Screams for supplying this for me tonight. They did ask me not to film inside the haunted houses and I will abide by that rule. I understand that. I am coming off uh, an odd night. This fit my schedule. It's not their media night. However, tomorrow I will be filming a traditional haunted house video, another great haunt inside the haunted house so for you haunted house fans out there i hope you enjoy this entire experience tomorrow night we'll be walking through traditional on this channel haunted house style we'll see that might change i might you might i might get up there and uh talk to someone and they may let me you never know but i just wanted to put that up front here in the video before things start going that we're not going to be able to film inside the haunted house it's just like i mentioned in the intro all right so about an hour until rope drop over here i can already tell that the parking lot is filling up out there wonder how many people they're gonna have for their opening night i'd say thousands so a little history with field of screams they opened their hayride in 1993 that was their first attraction and then their haunted house their second attraction in 1995 soft pretzels smitty soft pretzels our own fresh brewed tea. Ooh, that sounds nice. Maybe I'll get some tea. They got so much food over here. They even got cheese steaks. I bet they're pretty good because we're we're next to Philly. They've got something called Blazing Jay's Chicken. Hey, I like the name. Also, they got funnel cakes. They got it all. Burgers, fries, cheese pierogies, dill pickle spears, mozzarella cheese sticks. Come hungry. Or if you do come hungry, don't worry, they got you. That person over there has got a knife. I think she's robbing the french fry stand. They're selling candy corn here too, look at that. I got my haunted house tickets and my sweet tea. Actually half and half. All right, you know you're legit when you have an Auntie Anne's pretzels inside your haunted house attraction. Oh, we got a creepy clown over there. Oh, he's waving high. So this is cool. These guys are lighting the torches of the entryway of the asylum. Look at that. gas line connected because they both lit up at the same time ha 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 I don't even see it on the camera yeah the fire going there it's pretty sick yeah they just lit the torches opening night filled the screams and they have officially opened the scream shop look at that we'll have to take a look inside there the daring asylum will be opening at six o'clock seven o'clock <laughs> And not we got the torches going we'll back here now. At dusk. Enjoy your time here today with Phyllis Creams and thank you for coming to America's number one haunted attraction. Love it. And rope is dropped. Look at that. I turned around and they dropped the rope. All right, so let's fill this place out. I'm going to save the hayride for last. Might work myself left to right over here to the left. The first haunted house, Den of Darkness.
Also, there's a stage over here. There's some escape games. There's something called the photo booth in there. That's probably pretty cool. Haunted Hayride starts at 7.15, so it's gonna open up in just a few minutes. Check out these three skeletons here in front of the asylum. Nice little photo opportunity. So I'm gonna start at Den of Darkness, work myself left to right. I think this is their original haunted house. I think I mentioned that earlier. I can't remember. Here's the stage over here. They just did a sound check. And then over this way, more of the Midway games, the hayride that way. I am so freaking stoked to walk through these houses tonight. I'll give you my full review, of course. This is freaking awesome. Look at this. It's gonna look a whole lot better at night, but it looks pretty crazy right now. The detail here is so cool. And right behind the gift shop, you got zombie football throw, you got bottle break, goblet toss, ring toss, and toxic head toss, perfectly placed next to Nocturnal Wasteland. That is the third haunted house attraction here. And over here you got souvenir photos, Auntie Anne's pretzels, that smells so nice. And then the hayride entrance over here to the left. All right, this is cool, you got the tractor, you got this popping out of the wall here, you got the guillotine, nice little uh, photo opportunity. I'm not so sure what's going on in here. I know the hayride starts over here somewhere. Okay, this is so freaking creepy. Four heads on stakes, their mouths moving, animatronics, that is so realistic looking. Check it out. Oh, that's creepy. It looks like some people we know, right? <laughs> Comment below, who do these people look like? Don't say the Beatles. So I don't know what's in here, I just saw people walk out of here. Whoa. It's a tunnel. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. And this might be the end of a haunted house. I don't know. Oh, I'm getting disoriented. Oh man. I'm starting off the wrong. I'm starting off so wrong right now. <laughs> Alright, bear with me. The music is currently cranked up to 11. I'm about ready to enter the VIP line for the first haunt. Oh, we got chainsaw guys over here. What's going on? Maybe they'll drown out the uh, Motley Crew. Speaking of Motley Crew, Dead of Darkness. Here we go. Oh, look over there. It's Killer. Oh, hi. How you doing? Doing all right? No. All right. They just scanned my ticket. Very efficient, fast service QR code. We're about to head inside. Hot on. Oh, creepy lady on the porch. So this is the entrance of the house. I'm about to walk through. We got a nice little system in here. I'm in line four, staging area. Ooh, he's creepy. I'm ready to start the haunted house. See you on the other side. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> So you wait here until they call your late. I'm in lane four. Yeah. Hey guys, trust me. I'm in the park. They are allowed to trust So creepy. Whoops. Here you go. You're creepy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so. Oh. So we gotta. We're next. We gotta put it away. That was one of the most fantastic experiences as far as haunted house. I've ever had. Wow. Okay, so there's a very scary scene in there of the morgue. A very narrow pathway through a morgue with the bodies popping out at you. I did not know until I got in there. At Phil the Screams, they can touch you here. The scare actors can touch you. And that uh, that was pretty crazy. Also, I saw them, I saw a scare actor take a random person walking through into a closet and then re-emerge him a, a little bit later. That was creepy. They can grab you and put you in the closet. The detail in there, uh, it's very narrow, which I like. There's a lot of crawling around up and down stairs. One of the most fantastic haunted houses I've ever walked through. As this band's starting up over here, very creepy haunted house. Fantastic as far as detail. One of the most detailed 
practical haunted houses I've ever seen. The scenes are so cool. The pathways are narrow, very dark. There's spots where you kind of have to bend and crawl. There's an attic space. There's, it's just fantastic. All right, PA, not GA. <laughs> I like it. All right, before I head into the next haunted house, I'm gonna check out the photo booth. Let's see if there's anything going on in here. Just wanna see what's going on. Okay, just a nice little backdrop there. The torches are going, I popped out here so I can see the entrance. A lot of folks coming in now. Happy Friday the 13th. Does that guy look real to you? <laughs> Wouldn't wanna mess with that guy. All right, make it quick. Oh no, here it comes, ah! Hi, oh creepy. I hate clowns, stay away from me. And the Frightmare Asylum, main gates. Check this out, another wicked looking haunted house. About ready to get in line. Number two, number two. Who does number two work for? I don't know why I referenced that, but I just did. The gates are freaking sick. It looks like uh, general mission to the right, VIP to the left. To the left, to the left. There's another weird reference. So nice. You got a ticket booth, then you got another ticket booth, then you got another ticket booth, and then a pre-queue. Not complaining, just admiring. This is so cool. All right, they just scanned in our ticket. Looks like we walk up to the next wait here. All right, same system. And look, I'm in line four again. This is really cool. They also got entertainment while you wait. Beware, you are entering. You are not going to touch the actors. They will touch you. Feel the screen. It's not responsible for any loss or damage property. You gotta be careful. And I barely survived. Another amazing house. So if I ever have a haunted house of my own, I want it to look and feel a lot like the two I just walked through. All right, I don't know what I like better. Den of Darkness or the Asylum, both really immaculate, spectacular, scary as crap haunted houses. Old school, but new school. I've never quite experienced something like that. Now, when you close your eyes at night and you think, man, I want to experience a very scary haunted house, loaded with scare actors, narrow hallways, animatronics, just very freakish scenes realistic. It's Field of Screams. And I've only done two houses here tonight and I am just blown away. Holy freaking cow. I was told that this was amazing and I'm two houses in and everyone that told me that, thank you because you're exactly correct. I wish I could film it there for you guys. Hey, I'll be back one day though. Maybe we will. The lights have gone down just a little bit. Midway, starting to sparkle. Speaking of sparkle. All right, next up, Nocturnal Wasteland. Third haunted attraction of the night. Looks like general admission and VIP only right here in the middle. Hot's on and not too busy right now. I bet people are waiting for the lights to go down. This is dark enough for me. Also, if I were filming, I would want to come at this light so you could see more. We actually took a little photo there. I took my photo on a green screen. I wonder what that's going to be like. Here we go, VIP. And here you go, Nocturnal Wasteland. So far back here, they even got a restroom and a concession stand just in case. So this is the entrance right here. Wow, it's like a milk bus. Oh, it looks like you walk through the milk bus to enter the haunt. Nocturnal Wasteland. Creepy music. Really cool vibe. All right, I'll give you my full review. It's hard to review these, you know. Hard to capture it all in one moment at the end. Better to film it, but hey, I'm doing the best I can do. Tomorrow night, I'll do a traditional walkthrough. Oh, there's someone up there. Look at that. Now that's freaky. He's looking right at us, too. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh no, I think he's coming down. <laughs> we destroyed his 
for entry. Got the warning going. We got the queue lines over here. I don't think I'm actually in line. I think I actually accidentally skipped. I think I was supposed to go right. All right, now I'm in the right line. There you go. I got off the beaten path. This is cool. Everything's just so nice out here. Those disobey. Look at this guy. Whoa. Oh, I knew he was coming for me. Field of Screams. Oh my gosh. That was freaking amazing. So it lives up to its name with just three out of four haunted attractions. Not even to the Hayride. That was very industrial, very kind of like water world. The detail, there's a freaking airplane in there. It is just nonstop scares through all three of the attractions I've done so uh, far. That, it might be my fave. It's hard to pick a fave right now, but this is the real deal out here. I wish I could film it for you guys, but hey, maybe someday. I'm gonna do the hay ride next. Check this out. Through the gap of the fence here, taking off. I think that's going around to pick up. Yeah, over there, that's where they pick you up. I'm just looking through the gap. This is the end of the hayride where they drop you off. I'm gonna let it get a little darker. It's almost completely dark out here. What's up? Yeah. I'd say there's a uh, much ahead. What you got there in your hand there? Oh, you got purple eyes too. Everyone's got purple eyes out here today. Hey, they're playing John Mellencamp. Look at that. They were playing that last night. Camp Crystal Lake, same song too. This looks so much better at night, right? Look at this. I really like the detail here. It's, imagine this inside the haunt. Everything is just freaking superb. Top of the notch, state of the art. Oh, look at this. I'm about to stand in the spotlight. Look at that. Whoa, I'm in the spotlight. Whoa. Well, that looks kinda cool, doesn't it? Build a screams, baby. Yeah, come on out. Jump on a plane. Come across the pond for this one. And check out the swag shop. Oh, here in the window, they got a nice display filled of screams. I like that jacket. We got a lot of cool stuff in here. Gigantic gift shop. Yeah, this looks amazing. I'm ready for this hayride. Filled of screams. Bring it on. Legendary. This is supposed to be like the best hayride in the country. The one that started it all, so. I'm so ready for this moment. I was so, so excited waking up this morning knowing that I was coming here. And so we begin the haunted hayride. This hayride is 31 years old. And this is actually the cue for the hayride. All right, it makes sense now. I walked, I walked in the exit earlier. Whoops, that was an accident. <laughs> we got a fork in the road. Looks like I go to the left. Oh, it's right over here. Cool. I'm zipping on through with this VIP tonight. A lot of folks in, uh, in line for the hayride now that it's dark. I think we were all thinking the same thing. Build a screams, baby. Instant love here. Love at first sight or first fright. There's something behind there. Something just knocked on there. Scares everywhere. Holy crap, look at that. Yeah, this is definitely the longest line of the night. There's the tractor going right there. Dude, that's so sick. Thank you, Phil of Screams, because I'm literally the only one in the VIP line right now. I just cut like 500 people. Wow. There's the tractor. And then you got the corn. That is so gnarly. Yeah. International Harvester, baby. That is so cool. And then you got the wagon behind it. There's the entrance. Check out the hay ride here, the wagon. Looks like they're about ready to load up. Check it out. Looks like no one's uh, going on this hay ride. Nice little demonstration. Of course, you got the cord. There you go. Maybe they're just testing it out. All right, I don't know if I'll make this one. They put a lot of people. Wow. 
That's a big wagon. Almost made the cut. Two people in front of me. Next one. It's over here. Look at this. Happy Friday the 13th. Fill the screen. It's also a cool photo opportunity over there as you wait in line. Yeah, he goes in. What comes up? All right, so we're loading up. Got to turn remember, the camera off. You're soon. entering at your own risk. One who will let you as you prepare to experience the show. I'm ready. All right, I'm situated. See you on the other side. And that is one of the most amazing things I have ever experienced. Oh my gosh! One of the best things I have ever experienced. The best hayride I've ever taken. It is legit. Oh my gosh, that was like, I swear, I think that was like 35 minutes. Quite a few stations in there. Pretty impressive sets. The best sets I've ever seen. All right, now it's time to properly, whoa, watch yourself here. Oh my gosh. So we actually drove through one of these on the hayride, a giant one of these, and the pattern is the same. That was insane. So I'm gonna recap this the best I can. The hayride here is one of the best, if not the best, haunted attractions I have ever experienced. Just the sets alone, I felt like I was on a freaking movie set. There are about seven or eight stations, I lost count. The very first station, each station you roll into, scene I should say, and garage doors come down and enclose you with the scare actors. The, the first scene was like a slaughterhouse, the second one was like a, an experimental lab. Uh, the third scene, uh, actually the second scene, you actually shook. The actual uh, hayride will shake at certain points. And I really like the toxic wasteland. That was like the toxic adventure one. The sets are amazing. There is a factory one, there's a toxic wasteland, there is a clown one, and that is one of the most terrifying moments I wish I could have recorded on camera. Imagine going into a carnival, the doors coming down, the lights going off, and then clowns coming from every direction, popping out, coming into, the scare actors come into the hayride, on, on clowns in my face. I mean, there was like 30 clowns in there. You pull out, you go to the next station. The corn is growing, of course, all along the trail. It is so brilliantly done. Uh, there was one scene where it was totally dark. You go in, the strobe lights start, and little did we know there were scare actors with chainsaws. People were losing their minds. The, the warehouse scene, the factory scenes, the claws coming down, the toxic waste. You guys just gotta come out and check it for yourself. I don't know if anyone's allowed to film in there ever, but I hope the next time I come back here, it will be for the media night. I have to line that up, I got so much going on. But at least I was able to get in here to give you my my opinion, and don't sleep on this one. If, you, if there's one haunted house you have to go to, so far I can't speak for a lot of them, but this is one you, you don't wanna miss. Check out Fill the Screams. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Fill the Scream mask. That looks like Freddy a little bit. That looks so much better at night, doesn't it? Cool. Oh yeah, the chaos. I love it. Here are the escape rooms. Build a Screams five minute escape rooms. Looks like there's one. No wait, that's axe throwing. There's this one called Captured. There's one here in the middle called Lockdown. And there's one over here on the right. So there's three escape rooms. Looks fun, five minute escape rooms. And you can get a t-shirt of your favorite attraction or you can get a t-shirt of all of them. I see, I recognize many of these characters from inside the haunted houses. Ooh, it's hard to pick a t-shirt. I need to get a t-shirt. And look at that, I liked it so much, I bought the t-shirt. I just linked up with Jim, the owner of Field of Screams. Very nice guy, thanks for having me out, Jim. He's offered to take me up on top of the silo. All right, so they're gonna open the silo door for us. Whoa, spiral staircase. Whoa, 
That's cool. Wow. I'll miss you this is beautiful. Okay. Wow. Can we close it? Wow, check out all the welding. We're going up here. You look at the hands there. This is freaking awesome. Top of the screens. Alright, we're up here. You can't really see it. Look at that. FOS. Check it out. Oh my gosh. This is the view. So the hayride is out that way. And also uh, Nocturnal Wasteland. There's the, you see the flame over there? That's where the hayride started. And then over there's the stage, the other haunted houses. Then you got the, the food court. And then back there, that's the uh, ticket booth or the ticket house. All right, I can go up one more level. Let's do it. We're doing it. Heck yeah. You gotta be careful with my camera. Woo! Oh my gosh. I didn't think this was gonna happen tonight. I think I might be risking it. And even higher now. That's the way we just came up. Freaking incredible. Some of the chainsaws. Nice 360. The detail everywhere in this park. I mean, even up here. Wow, you guys just knock it out of the park. So cool. And there's the new area. So new bar and new ticket house. All right, so check this out. Right in the middle up here, you can look down and see all the way down the spiral staircase. Don't drop anything. Ah! No, there's a, there's a thing there for safety. All right, so we're gonna head back down. This is an amazing view up here. Behind the scenes at Field of Screams. Ha 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 ha. Almost back down the main level here. Those torches are so cool. Do those like fire up anymore or they just kind of stay like that? Uh, you know, that's a good question. We, uh, they used to be on the, on, the, on the program where they would fire up a little bit. Yeah. Every once in a while they would kind of be, you know, do a little show. Back down the spiral, spider spiral staircase. One of the most amazing nights ever. Follow us on social media, Twitter or X, whatever they call it now, Facebook, Instagram, at Field of Screams. We want to hear from you. Check them out. Five stars, I give them six. Oh yeah, that looks so much better at night there. Three skeletons. Hashtag survive the screams. Make sure you check out the link in the description below if you want to come out here. Not a bad drive from Philadelphia, about an hour. Also, we're near Hershey, about uh, 45 minutes down the road from Hershey and Harrisburg. If you know, you know. You, if you've been here, you know what I'm talking about. Please feel free to confirm that down in the comment section for everyone else. This place is the real deal. Awesome to be here on its opening night in 2024. Happy Friday the 13th. The Asylum. It's hard to pick a favorite between all of these, really, but the Hayride was just next level. Incredible. And one last look at the hearse here in the main gates. Just had a great conversation with Jim at the top of the silo. So, yeah, they don't allow any filming inside of Phyllis Graves. Just want to make that clear. And I understand why, because there are things in that haunted house specifically the hayride that I've never seen before in my entire life. Not only was it cool like that, it was freaking scary. You gotta come out here. If you like haunted houses like I do, I'm recommending a really good one right now, just like it was recommended to me. Field of Scraves. Ah. This is cool. This whole place is cool. This is all brand new. All right, guys, so I think we're gonna end it right here. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, just know that there's always much ahead. Give the video a thumbs up, please share it, and I'll see you tomorrow for another haunted house. I will be filming my experience tomorrow, and I've gotta go like 
thanks for sticking to the end. I'm gonna give you a little uh, spoiler here. I am going to drive six and a half hours in a certain direction for the next haunted house. Yep, hot's on baby, it officially begins. No sleep for the wicked. Gonna walk through some pretty epic haunts. This one was one of the best I've ever walked through. Field of Scrapes. It's over. Bye. So I learned at the end of the season they do a zombie run. And this is part of the course. That's so cool. Come check them out. Field of Screams for two months. And then they do a Christmas haunt. They do year-round stuff here. Not year-round, but they do Christmas themed haunted houses just like we see other haunts do. This has been a great night. It feels great up here. I love the weather. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Much ahead.